Hi, I'm Keely, also known as Kelly. And I'm Feely, also known as Alex. Welcome to our corner of the Shire, where we will show you how to bring Middle Earth into your daily life to keep you a happy, happy hobbit. hobbit. Welcome to this Christmas special of Happy Hobbit. We are filming today on the winter solstice, which as many of you know, is Durin's Day. The last sun of autumn and the first moon of winter are about to appear in the sky together. So we're going to show you guys how to bring in some Dwarven festivities into your holiday, no matter which holiday you choose to celebrate. I don't care that your dad got drunk and kicked you out of Mirkwood for the holidays. It's not my fault. You should be thanking us for giving you a place to stay. Yeah, well, at least I don't have to stand on a fireplace to be as tall as me. Shorter. Dwarf. Dwarf. Oh! oh! When our ancestors celebrated the winter solstice, the only natural sources of light they had were the sun and the moon and the stars. And the, observing the darkest night of the year was a tradition for them because they were hoping that their activities and their rituals would bring back the sunlight. And so to remind myself that even in the darkest of winter, the sun will return. One of the symbolic things that I like to do is make garlands like this of stars and moons to hang around in my room. And this is something you can do to observe Durin's Day, because Durin's Day is very similar to the way that our ancestors celebrated this dark time of year. In the Blue Mountains and Erebor, dwarves get a lot of snow, but it doesn't exactly taste that good and dwarves get pretty hungry sometimes. So today I'm going to show you a tasty snowy treat. So this is actually a doubled recipe because we're pretty hungry dwarf hobbit elves and with Legolas around, you know, he eats more than he says. All you need is flour, powdered sugar, butter, pecans, and some vanilla. And here we've already sifted all of the flour and powdered sugar together because with this recipe, the dough is so, you want it pretty fine, so yeah, sifting is a good idea. Durin's Day can be a pretty busy time of year, especially for us when we have to be dealing with a certain <clears throat> elf's tantrums. So this is actually a very quick and easy recipe and all you do is combine everything together, roll them up, and bake them. And you can use walnuts instead of pecans, but our family prefers pecans. Then your vanilla. Per usual, if it spills over a little, no harm done. Extra tasty. Mix it all together. I'm actually gonna switch to the wooden spoon. Works a lot better. The butter is really the thing that holds everything together in this recipe. You have to keep stirring and stirring oops, <laughs> until it's very thoroughly mixed. Since you're about to roll these anyway, you basically just want to make sure that there's no hidden pockets of flour anywhere. Like at the very bottom there, a little bit. Just use a regular small spoon to get the dough before. Legolas has always already been taking claim to being able to walk on this snow because he thinks it snowballs, but we'll oh, just laugh when he puts his foot in the bowl and falls on He better not put his foot in that bowl. Well, I already saw him over there. You better kick him out of the kitchen. These are supposed to bake at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes, but just in case, I often will start at the lowest cook time or even lower, like 10 minutes, which is probably what I'm going to do. And so let's get two pans. I'm going to stagger them to make sure they cook evenly. And oh they no! Just roll my loss! Those are some wild snowballs. And this is also letting all the heat out of the oven. That's okay, we'll cook it a little longer. 
It is important though that when you bake these that they don't touch each other. Yes. Once they're done, take them out and put them all on a parchment sheet and then let them cool slightly, but not a ton, so that they're still warm while you put the powdered sugar on. Treat them delicately because they're very delicate crumbly snowball cookie. No Durance Day is complete without a Durance Day pin. Brought to you by What a Workshop. And of course, no holiday is complete without traumatizing your relatives by singing some well-known carols, but changing the verses to fit Durance Day. And remember, you have to sing them in Thorne's voice. Da 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 just like the one I used to know Where there's no smog and gold That's all mine And the halls are beautiful Filled with yellow, gold and light do 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 So
I just, I locked all the doors, so if okay. he's outside, he's not coming in. Okay. Welcome to this Wait, crisp. Okay, okay. Welcome to this crisp. crisp. I wish you very. Yeah, you. I hope this episode has left you in a festive mood so that you can go out and try your. Kaylee. Kaylee. I'm just gonna keep pretending I'm filming. I'm sorry, I... I... I thought you were Toria. Quit telling me, asking me to give you all of Toriel's secrets that we share at slumber parties. What happens at a slumber party stays at a slumber party, okay? I ain't gonna tell you nothing. But, but... He's a sociopathic elf who's blonde and cannot see. And hey! he's covering his eyes and... He doesn't look at you or me! No! Wrap it up. Wrap it. I know. And then. <laughs> the things you see on floor. I know. Um, what we're observing. Oh. Well, so there's something about elves. Wait, wait, wait. He knows when you. Thrandual knows. Thrandual knows. From Feely and Keely. Why are you saying my name for me? I told me this. No, I see my own name! <laughs> Ori went to breakfast and ate Dory and Nori. He ate all the eggs and Bomber didn't get any. Bomber